Ladies and gentlemen, here we go for the Universe Mode Pro. We are ready for the debut episode of the Universe Mode Pro. We had an error, and for some reason, Arena got over it. But that's okay, we'll have the intro, because we're going to get right into the action. We got the Undertaker, we got Finn Balor, we got Aleister Black. And here we go for our opening contest of the evening. It is The Undertaker coming all the way from Death Valley. We have The Dead Man. And The Undertaker is known as a top contender. Like I stated earlier, The Undertaker is a top contender in professional wrestling. A legend in the business. Not in the Hall of Fame yet, will be someday. But starting off in the Universe Mode Pro, The Undertaker has a clean slate. Wins and losses from his previous stint in the WWE do not matter. It is up to you to decide the record of The Undertaker. If The Undertaker can win, if he can do it, if he can get this victory here at Universal Pro episode number one, he could set the pace to be a top contender for the Universe Mode Pro World Championship. Triple H has that prize and he's not giving it up easy until Extreme Rules. And here he comes. The man known as Finn Balor. Here he is. Finn Balor is for everyone, as is the Balor Club. It is the demon versus the dead man. Versus Alistair Black. And his opponent. First. From Bray. County Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds. Finn Balor. Yeah. Here he goes. Finn Balor. Former. WWE Universal Champion. Would like to get to the mountain again. Becoming the first Universe Mode Pro Champion. Is he going to do this? Is he going to be able to get a victory here tonight against the legend of The Undertaker and a former NXT Champion, Aleister Black and himself. Three men, top contenders. We're going to find out. Will Finn Balor be able to slay The Undertaker and Aleister Black? We'll find out in just a second. As C-Dub77 representing Finn Balor goes one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker, Jay Cash. And, and this man, pass, 6688, Alistair Black. As you see, the sun is setting here in the Universe Mode Pro Arena. As we're getting ready. For Alistair Black's entrance. Man who would love, love, love to be the first Universe Mode Pro Champion here tonight.
And here he comes. Former NXT champion. Alistair Black. Trying to make a name for himself right here, right now. If he wins this, he will earn himself 50 points. And he will get in a win in the win record. As I said, the win-loss record does matter here. So you definitely do want to get a win early on in the Universe Mode Pro. What a contest this is. Triple threat rules apply. No disqualification. The Undertaker is not impressed. You see him in the back. He is not impressed. With Aleister Black. And we're about to get this one kicked off here on Universe Mode. On the Tony Pizza Guy YouTube channel. Here is Finn Balor, Aleister Black, and The Undertaker. I want to thank senior referee Bike Dyson here, who's going to be the man in charge here to decide. And the crowd is behind Finn Balor here. As you hear them. Oh, and a big suplex by The Undertaker. But Aleister Black is just going to bide his time here. He's going to pick his spot and come in when it's necessary. Finn Balor fighting back, though. The Demon, not Demon, decided that he did not, that he did not want to be Demon in this match. Maybe your first time on Universe Mode, you don't pull out all your tricks, you know? Does a magician do his best trick at the start of a show? I don't think so. And neither does Finn Balor here tonight with a headlock around Aleister Black. Again, this is for a win and a loss and some slices. But I will tell you this. The wins and losses do matter in this universe mode. I know I've heard it before. Oh, and a DDT by Elster Black. I know I've heard it before. Yeah, your wins matter. But they really do matter here. Because that's going to determine who's going to be fighting for the Universe Mode Pro Championship at Extreme Rules. We're going to find out here. It's Elster Black on the outside taking a breather. And the Undertaker's back up. And it's Undertaker and Finn Balor battling it out here. Ooh, reversal by Taker and another miss by Taker. Finn Balor's got him. Oh, reverse DDT, but Aleister Black back in. That's the thing about these triple threat matches that a lot of people don't talk about. Is you constantly, constantly need to be watching your back. Because you never know when that third man is going to slide in. And he's going to be able to... To break it up as we just saw there. And there's a headlock takeover by Aleister Black. Keeping the Undertaker grounded. Which is a smart move. Trying to keep him down from that Tombstone pile driver And the Chokeslam. Favorites of the Undertaker. Oh but he misses. Finn Balor runs in. He misses. Oh and here he goes. Knee to the face by Finn Balor. Taker sits up though. And a big clothesline by The Undertaker. There is that third man again. Finn Balor rolls out to catch a breather again. Taker's right there, though. Taker, you saw him holding that shoulder. Not a good thing you want early on in a contest like this. You don't want to be holding that shoulder. Oh, when you're in a match like this. Triple threat rules means no disqualification. And anything goes. Oh, and there it is. Just a big uppercut to the throat. Of Finn Balor. And Aleister Black sees the opportunity. And runs in on the Undertaker. But the Undertaker. Getting taken down again by a headlock. Headlock takeover. Mike Dyson being very lenient. In a triple threat match like this. And Aleister Black just lands on his feet there. Taker rolls out. Avoids the damage. And Finn Balor fighting back here. Now I want to get your guys' opinion here as Finn Balor takes him to the outside. He's going for it. The OMG DDT on the outside. And Black is down. Black is down. I want to get you guys' opinion. Would it be better to focus on one person here and throw the other one out? Or is it to try and take damage to both people? Or would it be an advantage to roll to the outside? Taker with the clothesline. 
That diving close, and he might have the win here. Mike Tyson coming in. One, two. No, Black stays in this. What kind of strategy do you have going into a match like this on the Universe Mode Pro here on Tony Pizza Guy's channel? What's the question? The question I pose to everyone. What strategy would you employ here going against legends? Have the Undertaker, Finn Balor, Aleister Black. What do you do here? Uh-oh. Finn Balor. Whoa, there it is. And he's going to go for the pin? No, he does not go for the pin off of it. Yes, he does. Taker's back in, though. You got to watch that third man. You got to watch the third man. That's all there is to it. And it's Finn Balor trying to fight back. Taker just shoves him out of here. Again, you got to be very crafty in a match like this. With two other men in there and no disqualification rules. Blocked by Finn Balor. No, Taker's still able to get him up. After the block attempt by Finn Balor. Oh, Taker just clotheslining Aleister Black down. Going for a pin off of it. No, but Aleister Black stays in it. And he rolls out to catch a breather. Taker may be looking for a choke slam or a tombstone. And he has Finn Balor for the tombstone. Oh, but Finn Balor fights out of it. He's able to avoid the tombstone. And a DDT by Finn Balor. And he go for a pin. Quick pin off of it. Oh, one count only. He was trying to go for that pin, though. And Taker rolls out. Finn Balor up. Aleister Black's right there, though. He's got to be careful. But he lets him dive to the outside. And Aleister Black. Oh! Aleister Black gets kicked to the midsection. And he throws him back in the ring. Finn Balor. Really at an advantage here against Aleister Black. Aleister Black seems to be the one that everybody's going for the pin. Never holding that major world championship on the main show. As Taker and Finn Balor have. Maybe they think he's the weaker man. Oh, there's just a kick. And another drop kick by Taker. And Finn Balor rolls to the outside. Aleister Black picking him up. Oh, and there's a big time suplex. By Aleister Black. But as you see, he got busted open. Two count only. Two only. Oh, what's he looking for? The Black Mask kick. Oh, but Finn Balor takes out the leg and prevents the Black Mask. Do you believe it? He saves the Undertaker. I don't think it was. Oh, he's got Taker. German suplex turning the Undertaker inside out. Finn Balor's got this right where he wants it. Oh, my. Finn Balor looking very good here. Going for a pin off of that. Might be able to get it. Aleister Black runs in. Oh, but Taker able to kick out with, a, with authority there. Oh, blocking it. Oh, and just a roundhouse kick to the face of Aleister Black. The blood is trickling down, but I don't know that the blood does affect a man like Aleister Black. I think it just makes him more hungry, more angry, and he's going up. Could this be the coup de gras that Finn Balor is looking for? Finn Balor up, and coup de gras misses. Aleister Black avoids it, rolling out of the way. Oh, going for a snapmare, maybe cut or some, some sort of move. Oh, reversal. These two are fighting back and forth and back and forth. Taker coming back in. Misses with a kick, though. It's a stalemate here with these three. Oh, and there it is. Aleister Black is down. And Taker's down. Finn Balor standing tall here. Going for a pin off of that. Could he get the win as Taker rolled out? Two count only. Two count only. Again, this is going to set the pace here. For the universe mode going forward. As Finn Balor going up. Is he going to coup de gras here? He's going for it. Taker's right there though. Oh he misses the coup. Oh he does. He hits Taker with the coup de gras. He actually ended up hitting Taker. With the coup de gras. Who came in to pick up Aleister Black. He hit him. And he's throwing Aleister Black to the outside. What is he going to do here? Oh but Aleister Black fights back. Taker got hit with the coup de gras. Aleister Black back in. Oh, just a side suplex sending down Finn Balor. Oh, here we go. Black Mass on to Taker. 
He's picking him up. Black Mass. Black Mass onto The Undertaker. That could very well be it. He already took the coup de gras. One. Two. Oh, Finn Balor barely breaks it up. You thought it could have been over there. But it was not. Oh, and there's an elbow to the face. And The Undertaker stomping. Going old school here. Oh, Taker's going to take him up. One of the many special moves of The Undertaker. A signature right here. Dropping him down on his arm. And you know what that signals usually. Oh, but Finn Balor flips up. Oh, there's a kick by Finn Balor. Who's staying in this very, very well. Oh, one count only. Finn Balor really wants this one. Finn Balor really wants this victory. He's performing very well. He delivered a coup de grace to The Undertaker. Going for, for Aleister Black, but The Undertaker got in. Got in the way there. Oh, big time clothesline. Mike Dyson is down. Dyson is down. Double stomp misses. Taker's got him up. Oh, going for a suplex. He's got him up. And down he goes. And Finn Balor kips up. He's back in the game here. Throwing Taker in the corner. Oh, Taker fighting back. Finn still staying strong. Referee is still down in this contest. Taker still fighting back, though. It's anybody's ball game here. Early on in this universe mode. Oh, and Finn Balor's busted. Taker going for a pin, but did not see Aleister Black there. Taker with a kick. Catches. Oh, just a round as he... Oh, and you see Taker bounce off the ropes like a, like a slingshot. Just bouncing up and down and down and up. And now Aleister Black going for the pin on Taker. But Taker... Able, very willing and able to stay in this one. And an elbow to the face of The Undertaker. Again, there's a lot at stake here when you talk about Universe Mode Pro. You got that World Championship that Triple H is currently holding. Triple H says that he will decide based off of wins and losses who will fight for that championship at Extreme Rules. And Finn Balor with a DDT. Oh, Finn goes up. Taker's down. Coup de gras. Here he go. Coup de gras onto The Undertaker. And that could very well be it. Aleister Black is out of it. This is the second coup de gras. He's hit on Taker. One, two, three. And that is it. Finn Balor is your winner. Finn Balor is your winner. Oh my, Finn Balor with a coup de gras on The Undertaker. Do you believe what we just saw there? What a statement by Finn Balor. Pinning The Undertaker. Finn Balor again. Wanting to be that world champion. C-Dub 77 representing Finn Balor. The Undertaker takes the loss there. And that's how it all plays out. Alistair Black avoided that coup de gras. Here is your winner, Finn Balor. And Finn Balor proves why he should be the first Universe Mode Pro world champion and up next we got pete dunn and andrade cien almas they're gonna do battle here again wins and losses do rec do matter and they are a part of your record pete dunn mr sandman andrade cien almas cdlr good luck to both of you and here we go for our second contest of the evening. And from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Pete Dunn. 
we have the Bruiserweight coming out to the ring here. Would love to be in a top contendership here for the triple threat match. We had The Undertaker. We had Aleister Black, but it was Finn Balor who came out victorious in that one. So Finn Balor gets one in the win column there. People are betting big on this match as Pete Dunne, represented by Mr. Sandman, would love, would love to be the first Universe Mode Pro Champion. And here he comes, Andrade. Zian Almas with Zelina Vega by his side. She has been an X-Factor in so many matches. If you remember, she's the one who got Andrade to quit partying when he was down in NXT. Once he got his career turned around, started taking it seriously, he won major championships. And now... And now he is here at the Universe Mode Pro, potentially with the ability to become the first Universe Mode Pro Champion. It's all up to Triple H. He's the master. He's in the back. He's at gorilla position. He watches everything. You might not know, but Triple H is always watching. Andrade, Cien Almas, Pete Dunne, both holding major championships. Pete Dunne with the NXT United Kingdom Championship. But he is not impressed by Andrade, Cien Almas. We're going to find out here tonight. If we're going to have a Finn Balor situation for one of these two. But this is just one-on-one -on -one action here right now. Andrade, Pete Dunne. Let's go. Oh, and Andrade off with a, with a nice Hurricane Rada to start this contest early on. But Pete Dunne catches the leg. And it working it. That's what Pete Dunne's offense is all about, is dissecting the body parts. But Andrade, oh, with his own, showing that he can stand tall with Pete Dunne. Jawbreaker by Pete Dunne, though. And uh, DDT taking him down. Again, Zelina Vega may be the X Factor here in this contest. She has been in many, many matches. She's always the one. That changes the game when it comes down to it. If she has to interfere, she will. And she will help Andrade get to the top if she has to. But don't count the bruiser raid out of it. As he is fighting back here. Oh, and there's a kick. A shuffle kick there by Pete Dunn. Whose finishing move is the bitter end. And it is a bitter end there. He's able to hit that. Going over the corner though. Slams him face first in the turnbuckle. A reversal and a chop, but is reversed again. Oh, misses a clothesline though, and he goes down. Andrade staying right where he needs to be. It's just a just an open hand slap to the chest and a forearm bruiserweight in the corner. Oh, misses again. Oh, there's a punch. Irish whip off. Andrade. Has Pete Dunn in the corner? Oh, he's hanging on. What's Andrade doing? 
Oh, leg drop taken down. Pete Dunn, and this would be a nice time to go for a cover, maybe. He's rolling him over. You guys don't remember, I will tell you here. The representatives of these athletes, Mr. Sandman is Pete Dunn. And CDLR is Andrade. So good luck to both of you. If you are watching live in the chat or not on YouTube, thank you. Ooh, dropkick missed by Pete Dunn. The bruiserweight back into the corner, though. Andrade has stayed on top of him at all costs here today. He's choking him. Oh, come on, ref. Mike Dyson is one of the most lenient refs here in this entire universe mode. He likes to see this action get solved inside the ring. He uses his 10 count to an effect if he needs to. But he's very, very lenient. Again, Andrade to that corner. It should be a rope break. But Mike Dyson does not care. He don't care. Irish whip in the corner again. Andrade just staying on top of Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn reversal though on that leg. And Irish whip off the, off the ropes here. He catches him. Oh, snap German suplex. And Pete Dunn is fighting back now. Andrade though. Oh, just takes him down with a knee. Tranquilo. And a stomp by Andrade. Working the arm there. Oh, it just takes it down. Uh-oh. 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 Don't do it. Oh, reversal. Pete Dunn with the reversal. Able to stay into this one. Uh-oh. It's got him up. Oh, and down goes Andrade. Zelina Vegas is not happy with what she saw. Uh-oh. Zelina Vega right there. Pete Dunn looking for the bitter end. He's going to hit it. The bitter end is coming up. Pete Dunn and the bitter end. That could be it. Let's call it. Two count only. Andrade stays in this somehow, some way. He's still in the action here. What's up, Shadow? How you doing? Andrade staying in this. Going for a pin, though. Wanting to get out of this if he can. Two count only. Working the arm. Oh, roll through, though. Oh, drop toe hold right there. Pete Dunn. Talking some trash to Zelina. Oh, he, he's, just, he's just working on the arm, trying to break those fingers off. A wise tactic by Pete Dunn, as he always does there. Leg trip, though. And Andrade is going to get a single crab here. Trying to get Pete Dunn to submit. But it's broken up there. Oh, as Pete Dunn gets out of it. Uh-oh, Andrade. Oh, shoulder block takedown. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, he reverses it. He reverses it. Pete Dunn with the reversal. Oh, double underhook. Double underhook. Oh, my. Uh-oh, Pete Dunn. He's got him up again. And down. I see some people wanting this to go. What? One. Two. No, two count only. Shadow, I see you asking for this to be in community creations. It already is in community creations. Type in UMP. You will find it. Oh, looking for the bitter end again. Could Pete Dunn hit the bitter end again? He's got it right here. Bitter end. That's it. Call it. Count to 100 if you want to. Pete Dunn. Is your winner there, Pete Dunn? Congratulations, Mr. Sandman. Sorry, CDLR. Pete Dunn is your winner tonight.
What's up, Kobe? Congratulations to anyone that bet live in the universe mode on Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn and Finn Balor both have wins. One, two, and he stays in that one. Seemed like Andrade was going to be the man, but he was not. He, he was not. And there is your winner. The bruiser weight going on with another victory in the win column. Will he be the first universe mode pro champion? We'll have to wait and see. Our next contest is Eddie Guerrero versus Adam Cole, baby. This one's going to determine who's going to be one step closer to Fighting for the Universe Mode Pro Championship. Wins and losses do matter, and Triple H is the man who decides who goes into the main event of Extreme Rules. And we have our next contest here. Eddie Guerrero, a legend, a Hall of Famer in this business, in Universe Mode Pro, Viva La Raza, would love to defeat Adam Cole, baby, and join Pete Dunne and Finn Balor as the only people who have wins in this Universe Mode. We'll tell you guys, we have seven bets live here on Twitch.tv slash Tony Beats Guy. We have 1,660 for Eddie Guerrero and 227 for Adam Cole, baby. So good luck to everybody who wants to be a part of the universe mode and everybody that's going to be in here. Eddie Guerrero is Real Deal JRH. Adam Colbebe is Roman 154. Good luck to you and to your family. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Adam Cole, baby! And here he comes, Adam Cole, baby! Would want to hold the gold. Would this arena be big enough for the ego of Adam Cole? I don't know, but we'll have to see. Good luck to you as you dare to shock the system here. Good luck. A dream match that we have never seen. Something that would take place somewhere else. But it's taking place here on the Universe Mode Pro with Adam Cole and Eddie Guerrero. I love this guy. I love Adam Cole. Eddie Guerrero. Adam Cole, baby. Locking up Adam Cole. Neckbreaker by Adam Cole, baby. And staying on top. That's what you need to do here against a legend like Eddie Guerrero. Is you need to take Latino Heat down at the very beginning of the match. As he is doing here. Latino Heat, a legend. As I say, Hall of Famer. Time and time again. If he was still with us with today, he'd probably be the Universal Champion. But now in Universe Mode Pro, we can relive the legacy of Eddie Guerrero. And have him go one-on-one -on -one with Eddie and Adam Cole here. Tonight. What a show we've had thus far. A triple threat match. 
I bet on Adam Cole if he wins. I want my bits, lol. Nah, but I got some bits. Lol, 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 lol. lol. Uh oh. Adam Cole, Irish Whip. Eddie Guerrero finds a forearm to the face. And Adam Cole, again, staying on top of Eddie Guerrero. Trying to take the arm out of him, stopping on the hand. Oh, that hand taking him down. Thank you for the bits, Cobra. Appreciate it. Adam Cole looking for a suplex. Oh, he drops him head first. The crown of the head right there. And Adam Cole going for a pin. Only a one count there by Adam Cole Pro. Oh, here he goes. Waiting for Eddie to get up. Oh, misses. Misses the kick. And Eddie with a DDT. With a DDT. Uh-oh. Three amigos coming in hot here. Got him with the three amigos. Going for the pin off of that. Ooh, two count only. And Eddie Guerrero with a drop kick right there. Oh, he's going up. Frog splash time from Eddie Guerrero. Oh, he's waiting for him. He's calling him to tell him to get up. It's got to be Kane. And there it is. Hits him with a Hurricane Rana. Switches his offense there. Working the arm. Oh, is Eddie Guerrero staying on top of Adam Cole? He's going to throw him down. Maybe go for a frog splash again. He's going for it again with that frog splash. Eddie Guerrero, if he could hit it. Here it is. Frog splash. He hits it on Adam Cole. If he goes for the pin, this could very well be the end of the match. And he is. And Adam Cole kicks out. Adam Cole stays in this. And Adam Cole is still a part of this contendership for that championship. Oh. Working on the leg. Uh-oh. Working the arm. Eddie, Irish whip. Oh, takes it to the outside. This is not a no DQ match. The rules do matter here. But we will see what Eddie Guerrero's got in store. Oh, Adam Cole with a kick to the midsection. And he runs back in the ring trying to break it out. Or break up the pace here, maybe. Oh, big time neck breaker. Oh, he's trying to just stretch him out. Adam Cole working on him. Going to get him to submit here. If he could, he could see the end here as he just continues to stretch out Adam Cole. Oh, my. Adam Cole in a bad way here. But he's able to fight back as he does. And there it is. A hip toss by Adam Cole. But the damage has been done as you see him clutching out the arm and the ribs. Where most of the damage has been done. Eddie fighting back though. Oh, Hurricane Run. A tilt to World Hudson, I should say. And Adam Cole rolls out to the ring with Eddie wiping his feet there. Rolling out. Adam Cole able to catch it with a forearm though. Oh, but a kick. A kick there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Gory bomb. He's got it for the gory bomb. Gory bomb by Eddie Guerrero as Eddie's going back up top. Oh, the knees. The knees. Adam Cole, baby, gets the knees up. Oh, he just slaps Eddie in the face. What a show of disrespect by Adam Cole there. 
Oh, and here he goes. Adam Cole, baby. There it is. That might be the end. Adam Cole for the pin. Oh, but Eddie. Eddie stays in it. Barely. How does he do it? Oh, Eddie is busted open off that knee to the back of the head. His face hit the canvas and he's busted open. Oh, and there's a reverse suplex. Uh-oh, Eddie coming back here. And a drop kick by Eddie Guerrero with the comeback move. And Latino Heat is on fire. Oh, but Adam Cole playing possum there. But Eddie able to get it. Three amigos looking for it. There's one. There's two. And there's three. And Eddie Guerrero feeling froggy here. Maybe. Looking for the frog splash, but Adam Cole still in it. Irish whip in the corner. Oh, what does Latino Heat have here? Reversal on reversal. Latino Heat with an Irish whip in the corner. Oh, and a drop kick, but Adam Cole bats it away. Adam Cole drops him on the knee. And going for a pin off of that. And that is it! Adam Cole, baby, able to get out of this one. Barely. You gotta give it to the blood. Uh-oh, what an awesome win. One of the biggest of his career. What a battle. Respect to both competitors. Eddie Guerrero is gonna show some respect to Adam Cole, offering to shake his hand, and he shakes it. Absolute love. Some respect from Adam Cole, maybe. Maybe Adam Cole knows. He feels the legend of Eddie Guerrero. You thought Adam Cole was going to turn on him? But he didn't. There is your winner. Adam Cole, baby. Up next, we have what's going to steal the show here. Jeff Hardy and Daniel Bryan. And we're set for our next contest of Jeff Hardy versus Daniel Bryan. Will the charismatic Enigma wrestle his way to the Universe Mode Pro Championship? Or will it be all Daniel Bryan's night? And here he comes, a former world champion, a former WWE champion. Will he be able to be Universe Mode Pro Champion? We're going to find out. As the wins and losses do matter in this Universe Mode, we're documenting everything. If you'd like to check out the stats, exclamation UMP roster in the chat right now. That'll tell you exactly. how it's going to play out here. Oh my, the crowd is already started. This one is split down the middle. Jeff Hardy, Daniel Bryan. The diamond mine is Jeff Hardy. Daniel Bryan, your boy. D. Bry. Poe. SE1. Good luck to both of you. Does this universe not have Christian? Christian is not here. The Rock says, or I think Jeff will win. What in that state? Wait, wrong gimmick, brother. Yes, 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 yes. We will see. Thank you, Cobra, for the bits again. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to see if Jeff Hardy will be a Dragon Slayer or if the number one underdog in the business, Daniel Bryan, always overcomes the odds. There it is, Jeff Hardy, Daniel Bryan. They're ready to put on a wrestling clinic here right now. Daniel Bryan with a kick. Jeff catches it, though. Uh-oh, looking for a crab there on Daniel Bryan. Trying to get him to tap already, but Daniel fighting out of it. Tony, if you was a stripper, what would your name be? All right, Cobra, you're going to have to cool off on those questions on the bits since this will be on the stream and on YouTube, so please... At least when we're live doing the doing the matches, thank you. Oh, rolling up, Daniel Bryan with a roll up. It's okay, Cobra. I appreciate the bits. Just if you're gonna type any curious questions like that, just save it when we're not recording live. You'll know after the matches. You can. Type away, but right now, there it is. I will tell you, brother, 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 that Jeff Hardy, Daniel Bryan, both would love, both would love to be the first champ. As I said earlier and earlier and uh, just, I've just been saying it over and over and over and over and over again. Jeff Hardy going to take this one to the outside? Maybe. Oh, he is. He's definitely, he's going to fly. This is where Hardy performs best on the top rope. High risk maneuver. Oh, and he misses the crossbody. Daniel Bryan moves out of the way. This is not no disqualification. Ten count will make a loser out of you. Oh, but Daniel Bryan hooks the leg of Jeff Hardy. What's he going to do here? He's getting back in. Hits him from behind. Uh oh, yes. 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 Oh, yes. Daniel Bryan. But Jeff Hardy able to play possum and get back into that one. Snapmare. And a perfect snap right there. Made famous by Mr. Perfect, Kurt Heading. Oh, he's got him. He's got him. LaBelle lock. Yes, lock is in. He's got him in. He's got it locked in. Jeff Hardy has nowhere to go. Jeff Hardy has nowhere to go, but he's breaking it up right now. He's broken it up right there. Oh, and there it is. Into the corner. Jeff Hardy looking for a DDT maybe. And he hits it with the spinning DDT. Going up top is Jeff Hardy. Daniel Bryan kip up though. And Jeff misses with a cross body. And Daniel Bryan just yeses his way. Oh, but a catch. Oh, into the turnbuckle. Jeff Hardy's in the turnbuckle and Daniel Bryan. No, but fighting back is Jeff. Oh, and a takedown by Hardy. Jeff going up top, maybe looking for that Swanton bomb. If he hits this, this could be the end. And he hits the Swanton bomb and goes for the pin immediately. Oh, two count only. Daniel Bryan stays in it. Oh, a takedown. Looking for his comeback here. Oh, there it is. The comeback by Jeff Hardy and a dropkick to the face. Uh oh, catches the leg, does Daniel Bryan. Oh, and there it is. Twist of fate. Twist of fate, he hits it. He hits the twist of fate. 
This could be the end of the match. Jeff Hardy going for the win. Two count only. How does he stay in this? Uh-oh. Looking for the Swanton again. Oh, elbow drop. Not Swanton time. Oh, an arm drag. A judo throw, I should say. By Daniel Bryan. Picking up Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy. Oh, with an uppercut, though. And it's a front suplex. Sit down, front suplex. Oh, and there's a knee to the face of by Daniel Bryan. All right. Fighting the invisible man over there. <laughs> The knee! Daniel Bryan hits the knee. The knee plus. But it did not connect. Is he going to do it again? Maybe so. Maybe so. Looking for it again. He is. Yes. Yes. And he connects. He connects. That's going to be it. Two count only, two count only. As Jeff Hardy stays in it. Diamond Mine able to save his face here. Staying in it. Oh, stomps by Daniel. Poe, SE1, would love to get a victory here. Representing Daniel Bryan in the universe mode. There's a snapmare. And another perfect snap. We've seen it before. Jeff's going to DDT the leg. DDT that leg. Maybe take down the base of Daniel Bryan. If he could hit this swanton, we could see the end coming. But Daniel Bryan kips up. And Jeff Hardy misses again. Oh, slams him in the turnbuckle. Bashing his face off that turnbuckle. And Jeff Hardy is down. Jeff Hardy is down. He's back up, though. Block by Daniel. Oh, he busted. He busted Hardy open. And there's a drop kick to the face of Brother Nero. Two count only. Two count only there. As Jeff Hardy, Dan O'Brien battle it out here. Oh, he's got it. Yes lock, yes lock, yes lock. He's got him. The yes lock. He's got him. Jeff's trying to pull towards those ropes. He's trying. He's inching. Oh, but he's breaking it. Jeff Hardy able to get out of it. Somehow, Jeff stays in it. But the damage may have been done there. Irish whip. Sending Jeff Hardy to the outside. Bringing him back in with the suplex. It slams him down near the center of the ring. Just Andrew Bryan rolling him over there. Oh, two count only. Oh, Daniel Bryan picking up Jeff Hardy. Again, we do have some victories here with Pete Dunn, Finn Balor, both having victories here. Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero showed some respect to Adam Cole, baby, last time in our last contest. Oh, he catches him. Daniel Bryan catches Jeff Hardy. 
Oh, big DDT, and Daniel Bryan is busted open himself. The blood is flowing for both men. Daniel Bryan waves his finger as Jeff Hardy rolls to the outside, taking a breather there. He's telling Jeff Hardy to get back in, and Jeff Hardy grabs the neck of Daniel Bryan. Oh, and there it is. He's going to go for a pin off of that cross body. Two count only. Two count only. Dropkick misses. Oh, he's got him. Yes, luck again. Yes, luck again. He's got him. Yes, yes, yes. But Jeff somehow, somehow stays in it. I don't know how Jeff Hardy does it. How he breaks out of that yes lock every time. Not quite sure how he breaks out of it every time. But going for a pin. And that is it. Daniel Bryan is your winner. Yes. 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 Daniel Bryan is your winner against Jeff Hardy. Jeff's going to show some respect to Daniel Bryan. And Daniel Bryan returns the respect there. Going to give the ring to Daniel Bryan. The respect is real. And up next is our main event of the evening. We have Braun Strowman. We have Kevin Owens. Oh, my. It is main event time as Braun Strowman takes on Kevin Owens in our main event. We'll have to see if Kevin Owens can survive those hands tonight as the beast takes on sin. Good luck. Good luck. This is very different than usual as mostly there would be a tournament. There would be a battle royal. There would be a ladder match. That's not happening in this universe mode. Triple H is going to decide himself who's going to be in that main event at Extreme Rules. Based off of the performance of the superstars here. And here comes Kevin Owens. As Kevin Owens walks out, he looks a little bit upset that in his first match in the Universe Mode Pro, he's got to take on Braun Strowman. Fight Owens, fight. Well, I say survive, Owens, survive, because that's all you can do. Kevin Owens looks ready. As ready as one could be going up against Braun Strowman. Good luck, Sin. Good luck, Beast. Let's go. It's main event time. Uh-oh. Picking him up. Oh, and he just throws Kevin Owens around like a rag doll. Oh, and a knee to the face. And a kick to the back. This is not Kevin Owens' day. This is not Kevin Owens' day. Uh-oh, powerbomb. He's got him up for a powerbomb. What's he going to do? 
Oh, he just drops him on the turnbuckle. Oh, no. This is bad for Kevin Owens. This looks real bad. But Kevin Owens catches his leg. Oh, and there's a leg whip. Dragon screw leg whip right there. Oh, misses a super kick. Braun catches him again. Over to that turnbuckle. Oh, big time clothesline taken out. Kevin Owens and Braun is happy with what he is showing here. Oh, but he's able to reverse him, sending Braun head over heel. Again, this is our main event of the evening. He needs to pick up a victory here. Do both men. As Triple H is watching from the back. Uh-oh. He's picking him up again for another powerbomb. Uh-oh. Oh, he slams him down with the signature move. Sorry, Kevin Owens. This is not your day. Oh, one count. Kevin Owens stays in it, though. Somehow. Some way. Oh, he's going to get him. Oh, but Kevin Owens reversal. He reverses. It stays in it. Oh, Braun reversal. Oh, and a big shoulder block just takes down Kevin Owens. Oh, and drops him down. Does Kevin Owens... What does he have to do here? Or is there even anything he can do here against a man like Braun Strowman? I guess getting out of the ring might favor him right now. Oh, just a punch. Can't even take Braun off his feet at this point. Not enough damage done as Braun. He's going to just toss him around. He just tosses him. Oh, and a big time clothesline into the corner. Kevin Owens finally getting Braun off his feet. Oh, and drops his head first against the knee. Does Kevin Owens. Uh oh, he's looking for a pop up powerbomb, maybe? Could Kevin Owens go for a pop up powerbomb? No, Braun catches him. And he's going to put him in a crab. Oh, but his, his arm over the ropes, but Braun does not care. Uh oh, Braun's picking him up again. Signature move here. And a takedown. Oh, knee to the face as well. Uh-oh. Oh, just putting all the body weight on the midsection of Kevin Owens. Oh, he's looking for it. That running power slam that Braun Strowman calls his finish. If he can hit it. No, Kevin Owens gets out of it. Russian leg sweep by Kevin Owens. Scouted very well by KO. And what is going here? Pop up power bomb to Braun Strowman. Pop up power bomb. That could be it. Oh, 2.9. As close as it can get. All right, Diamond Mind. You have a good one. I'll, I'll see you later, man. If you, got, if you have to leave or you can't watch the whole thing, check out the VOD. It'll be up on YouTube after this. Kevin Owens going up. Is he looking for that Swanton Bomb that he likes? Or maybe a Frog Splash. What is he going to do here? Frog Splash, but Braun puts up the knees. Braun tossing him out like yesterday's garbage. Who knows? Oh, into that announce table. Slamming him. Head first does Kevin Owens. Maybe win by, by count out could be a way to go. 
He's getting back in here, though. Oh, just a big Beal toss throwing him out. And Braun Strowman pulling him over. Is he going to go for a pin? He is. And Kevin Owens stays in it somehow. Your boy Braun picking him up. Oh, he just slaps him, chops him down, and steps on him like he just chopped down a tree. Braun Strowman is insane. Pick up and down. Kevin Owens fighting back though. He's fighting back somehow. Uh oh. He's going to pick him up. Drop him on his knee again. And he did. He did. He did it. Working the leg maybe to take the big man down. Wise strategy. I would say so myself. Uh oh. Looking pop up powerbomb. If he hits this. This could be the end of the match. And he connects. Pop up power bomb. Braun Strowman is down. One, two. No. Braun stays in it. I thought for sure that was it. Oh. Throwing Braun out. And he's taken to the outside. What does he got to do here? That's what he's asking himself. I guess I'll just throw him to the outside. I'm not really sure what to do. Oh, and just a punch to the face. Oh, just another punch. Braun Strowman. Oh, he's going to choke him out. He's going to choke Kevin out. He's going to choke him out. Ragdoll and Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens can't do anything. Oh, but he's able to get out. And Braun Strowman looking for that running power slam, maybe. He's got him up, running power slam. And he connects. Nice effort by Kevin Owens, but that's all she wrote there. Braun Strowman is your winner. What a valiant effort by Kevin Owens. But Braun Strowman is the winner. And our first ever Universe Mode Pro main event of the evening. Braun! And there he is, Braun Strowman, the winner. Sorry, Kevin Owens, but that is it. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys do enjoy this, make sure you smash that like button. As always, I'm Tony Beats Guy. We will see you in the next episode of Universe Mode Pro Live every Saturday. Twitch.tv slash Tony Beats Guy, noon central time. We'll see you there.